So now we'll figure out if, uh, if we have two pieces of uh, plywood. Hopefully I'll still have all my fingers after this exercise. Five million measurements, three holes in each. Plywood needs to go up under the catwalk. We showed you the beginning of a new project, building the anchor rollers. We started with a set of two templates made of cardboard that we plan to use for building the anchor rollers in plywood. We are following the design plan and will stow the main anchor below the catwalk and that's where the first anchor roller support will be attached to. The spare one will be installed forward onto the beam. After a lot of thinking and cutting, we came up with this template for the main anchor thingy. The next step is uh, to take these, well, make these out of plywood and uh, glue them in place. So we are laminating two pieces of plywood together, uh, some six mil marine ply that'll be a 12 mil plus marine ply once that's done. We applied a coat of epoxy on the two pieces of plywood to prepare the tacky surface and then a layer of glue to attach the material together. So now we'll figure out if um, if we have two pieces of uh, plywood that are loosely glued together or if they are stuck together properly like they should be. I'm happy with this. Looks like it turned out real nice and real solid. Two sheets of six millimeter marine ply tied together. I don't know why, but uh, marine ply to me looks like pretty shitty plywood. Anyway, I'll make the two bits for the anchor roller system and I'll be able to cut out uh, the two pieces I need for the second secondary anchor roller as well. In order to make sure that all the pieces are cut from this one sheet of plywood that we made, there was a bit of Tetris game playing involved. But after measuring a few times and checking and measuring again a few times more, Axel decided to finally cut. 
Once we had the parts, the next challenge was identifying the correct position of the rollers and the respective holes for them while maintaining the correct alignment. So I'm, I'm sort of afraid of, <laughs> of, of a trim router or whatever it's called. It's, it's super dangerous. Hopefully I'll still have all my fingers after this exercise and with any luck we'll have two near identical pieces of wood from which the anchor will hang. Now the fun part will be keeping them parallel. But I'll figure that out. I think I'll use some uh, foam as a spacer. And a, a large piece of foam as a spacer. So this is the idea. Now I just need to remove all the plywood here on the, in, on the three, three holes so that I then can fill them up with the epoxy before drilling again. Filling uh, these holes that I just drilled. Uh -huh. So first filling a little bit with uh, just epoxy, and then uh, I'll fill with a mixture of what, what are they called micro balloons and uh, and some fiber. The best part about backfilling holes is I know I'm just going to drill away all the way to Sweden again. Our next big challenge was expanding the existing cut in the catwalk that had already been started by the previous owner of the boat and that we had to work with, and for it to find the final length and position. The glue. Just a bit of a, this gap is a little bit bigger than it needed to be. But Which gap? Uh, forward and aft. I mean, there will be all the glue, glue there. and then from that, it, it'll be, it is what we needed. It's going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Next 
step was to laminate with epoxy and fiberglass the pieces of plywood. Then we had to trim the edges, sand the surface and prepare for fairing. At least as much as we could do when the anchor roller was down, within much easier reach than when it will be hanging from the boat. Of course, we still have to attach it there by glassing it in place and there will still be some fairing to be done, but just trying to minimize the effort in funny positions that we'll have to deal with later. And then, after the lamination was done, we had to find those expertly drilled and filled holes again. And I'm filling... Yes. And I figured out a brilliant, brilliant way to do this both sides at the same time. Not that brilliant actually. But I'm hoping it works. And I, I don't want to add like a thick layer so that we can hide the glass behind. Because that still means I need to sand down to the glass then. So it's not going to help me anything. But if I can make this nice and smooth. I can try to lay the glass on nice and smooth and, and then, then I have to do glass. less. Yes, yeah, and fair. Layer the glass so that yeah. it sort of matches to the height to this. of this thing. Yes, That's which is at least something, yeah. And in case you were wondering what was I doing during this time and why was Axel always looking up when talking to me, well, I was up there on the roof sanding and fairing the supports for the Genoa tracks. So I built the anchor roller system thingy out of a couple of sheets of plywood. So two six millimeter sheets of plywood glued together, five million measurements, three holes in each. So, and now I'm gonna try and glue it up and keep all those holes uh, lined, hopefully. That's, that's the pack. So, that little heavy piece of plywood needs to go up under the catwalk. I'm gonna hold it, we cut the other day. So. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching! More on this project next Sunday on Building Builda. And if you enjoy watching our progress, don't be shy to give us a comment and a like. Thank you! We love creating these videos and engaging with you!